Hi, my name is Gabe Newell. I'm CEO of Valve. We're the makers of Half-Life 2 and Counter-Strike. And I'm going to be telling you about the Xbox version of Half-Life 2. So the decision to do an Xbox version was made very early on. Jay Stelly, who headed up development for Half-Life 2, comes has a console background. So we, were, we had it running on the Xbox fairly early. In addition, there are a set of interesting technical challenges, uh, how we do memory management, and how we do user uh, handle user interface that are actually sort of interesting across the board, and we always have wanted to, to, to tackle those. But the decision to do Xbox was made at the beginning. One thing that we've always felt was really important and has been important for our success has been networking and being good clients of the internet. Um, and until Xbox Live, none of the consoles were able to do that. When you look at the value we created for people, a lot of it was in giving them more content over time. And that's what drove our success in a lot of ways. So now as uh, uh, the console platforms are being able to do those things, and become a lot more attractive for us. I don't find thinking about the platform nearly as useful as thinking about the gamer and the gamer experience. Um, I think that those distinctions are, are overrated and just a sharper focus on what the player is thinking about and experiencing is just still, you get a much better return for thinking about the player than you'd be worrying about is this a console experience or a PC experience. The most meaningful reward or, or sense of accomplishment has come from interacting with, with gamers, longtime fans who have the game. We brought a bunch of people out here. We, we, we run into them when we go to events and getting a sense from them that we didn't screw it up, right? That we had this tremendous opportunity, that we had this really loyal following, and they're saying, you know, good job, That's, that was more than I expected. So much of what we do is like what we're doing, working on right now. You know, so to me, the, the like if you ask me today, what I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about the emotional reaction that people have to that security guard who knocked over the can because that was more successful than we were expecting it to be. People hate that guy. Like, you know, I get I get the opposite of fan mail for that, for that guy saying, why didn't I get to, you know, blow him up later? Why didn't he reappear later in the game so I could get even with him, you know, when I was powerful? And, you know, given what we're developing right now, I'm like saying, okay, that worked. It was less intentional than it should have been from a design perspective. How do we do more of that? So as we look going forward, what are the functions that we think we need, you know, in terms of billing, anti-piracy, updating, incremental content. Um, we tried, we took a stab at packaging those service to, services together in Steam. And those, so, so there's sort of a laundry list of the functions we'd like to see in future consoles, right? And we think that our requirements uh, aren't really that different from other developers. That they're going to arrive at the same conclusion that Oh, yeah, instant messaging inside of the game to people who aren't in the game, that's a good idea. Uh, being able to do billing and, uh, is a good idea. And in the future, doing things like micropayments or other solutions for, for mod content or third-party content, that's a good idea that Steam doesn't have that would be nice to see coming out of these platforms. So we do expect that any platform has to look at these uh, requirements from developers and, and come up with a strategy for how they're going to offer them to us or, or to other developers. In terms of for future consoles, I think everything that you've seen on the PC are are a value to customers, whether it's modifications or updates or or uh, new you know new maps and you know those are tremendous value to customers. We sold more copies of Half Life the third year than we did the first year. Why? It was Lots of reasons, but one of the biggest was there were more mods and maps and player models and things like that. So consoles need to move in that direction because if they do, uh, gamers are going to reward them. Um, that's part of the experience that's really valuable. And game companies like ourselves and platform providers really need to figure out how to do that. Thank you very much for your time. I hope you enjoy playing Half-Life 2 on the Xbox when we ship in the third quarter.